Today wraps up the final day of the Santa Maria Elks Rodeo, and our reporter Reed Harmon has a recap of how the weekend went. In a sentence, it, it's been an amazing weekend. From the rodeo to the crowning of the queen and also the parade, the Elks Rodeo weekend was one to remember, even if it was non-traditional timing. It not being our normal weekend, we're usually the first weekend in June and having to move it to Labor Day. Um, Obviously, super grateful to finally be able to do rodeo again, but we really weren't, sh we weren't, we just didn't know what it would be like, for, you know, to have it this weekend. The rodeo usually takes six months to prepare for, and this one was just a two month turnaround, but it all worked out in the end. It was, it was rough, you know, it was rough getting here, but so excited, so grateful. Food stands were also grateful to be able to share their food with swarms of crowds. Yeah, it's an honor to be here, uh, honor to serve all these uh, wonderful, outstanding people, cowboys, you know, yeah. it's nice. The boom of business at the rodeo compared to a typical day on the truck? It's tenfold. But the constant rush kept James and his team on their toes. You know, we're getting our butt kicked, you know, cooking 400, 300 freaking sandwiches and burgers between the two. So, yeah, they love it. They like the hustle. They like the grind. And the grind will continue on into next year for the rodeo with events in between. We're planning to be back the first weekend in June, so we're back to our normal dates. We're launching Haunted Hills in, in October, then Christmas in the country, and then come January, we're back to rodeo again. In Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Reed Harmon.